Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about a major concept in number theory. It is a method to find the GCD of two numbers. That is greatest common device. The name of this algorithm is called as Euclidean algorithm. And it is quite famous in number theory. And we are going to prove it and solve a GCD related problem to understand it. Let's get started. So before going into the Euclidean algorithm, let's see what is division algorithm. Given two integers m and n where n is non-zero, there exist integers q and r such that n is equal to mq plus r where r is greater than or equal to zero and less than m. So this is nothing but if you divide a number by some other number, let's say m as the divisor, and n as the dividend. So q and r will be the quotient and reminder for that division respectively. Where the reminder ranges from 0 to the number less than divisor. So we will be using this extensively in Euclidean algorithm. So let's now move on to the next uh, procedure towards Euclidean algorithm. If n equal to mq plus i, then we say that gcd of m comma n equals gcd of m comma r. In other words, GCD of dividend and divisor equals GCD of divisor and reminder. So here GCD means greatest common divisor. It stands for greatest common divisor, which is also the highest common factor. And how is this true? The fact is very simple to prove. We will prove that the set of all common divisors of M and N equals the set of all common divisors of M and R. How? Notice that if d is a natural number, then d divides m and d divides n imply d divides. This is because if we express r as n minus mq and if d divides both m and n, one can take d common out of the expression in RHS and we will be proving that d divides the number r. And of course, d divides m by r. But this is also true conversely. If d divides r and d divides m, then clearly d is a divisor of n. Because n can be written as mq plus r and one can take d common out of m and r. So hence, this statement is equivalent and thus it can be rephrased as the set of all common divisors of m and n equal common divisors of m and r. So we will be using this result as well in the derivation of Euclidean algorithm. Next, a small remark about GCD of a number comma zero. The greatest common divisor of any number m comma zero, any integer m comma zero is that integer n. And here we assume that of course m is non-zero. It is because any number is assumed to be a divisor of zero. And uh, that is actually true because the reminder is always zero. So let's now move on to the Euclidean algorithm. So the Euclidean algorithm works in the fact that GCD of m comma n equals GCD of m comma r, which was the divisor and reminder GCD equal to divisor and dividends GCD. So writing in other way, n is equal to mq plus r. So consider the divisor and reminder I'll perform the division algorithm again and we will be getting m is equal to rq1 plus r1. And again, take the divisor and the reminder and perform the division algorithm. That is the old divisor will be our new dividend and old reminder will be our new divisor. So r is equal to r1q2 plus r2. So if you perform this again and again, clearly the reminder is strictly a decreasing sequence. You could see that r is greater than r1 because r1 is the reminder obtained when m is divided by r. We know that reminders are always less than the divide. So this r1 is lesser and r2 is far lesser than r1 and you can keep on descending the ladder of natural numbers like this but eventually you should reach the end or you will be reaching the number zero because the set of natural numbers less than r is finite. So as you continue this procedure at some point of time you will get rk equal to rk plus one into qk plus two plus zero and magically 
द नंबर आर के प्लस वन विल बी द जी सी डी ऑफ एम एंड एफ यू वुड बी वॉन्डरिंग हाउ कम दिस इज द जी सी डी सो पीपल हु आर नॉट फेमिलियर विथ यूक्लियर नॉलगोरिदम शुड नो दैट दिस प्रोसेस दैट वी डिड इज कॉल्ड एज यूक्लियर एन ऑलगोरिदम I notice this GCD of m comma n equals GCD of m comma r for the first step. Now come to the second step of the algorithm. GCD of m comma r equals GCD of r comma r one. GCD of divisor and the remainder, which is GCD of r one comma r. So if one progress like this, if one could progress like this down the equations, one would land up finding the GCD of R k plus one comma zero, and we know that G C D of any number comma zero is the same number R k plus one. So this is how we conclude that R k plus one is the greatest common divisor of M and F. So we always recommend you to take an example to understand this and to consolidate your comprehension of this problem. So let's do one quick example to justify this. Consider. The GCD of numbers one two three seven eight comma three zero five four. So in order to find this, I perform the Euclidean algorithm considering this number as n and this number as m. So one two three seven eight when divided by three zero five four, the quotient would be four. So it is four times three zero five four, and if you calculate. The remainder would be one sixty two. And now for the next step of the algorithm, we take the divisor and the remainder and perform the division algorithm. So let's do it. So three zero five four equals eighteen times one sixty two plus one hundred and thirty eight. So again, this requires some calculation from your side as well. Please do verify along the way. We pro progress now. Consider the divisor. And the remainder, and let's perform the division algorithm. One sixty-two is simply one times one hundred and thirty-eight, and the remainder would be twenty-four. Now, if you proceed like this, you can see that one thirty-eight is five times twenty-four plus eighteen, and then we take twenty-four and eighteen for the next step, and we perform the division algorithm to obtain one times eighteen plus six. you could clearly see that the remainders are strictly decreasing so eventually we have to hit the number 0 and here you go 18 is 3 times 6 plus 0 and that up we landed up with the number 0 so thus gcd of 1 2 3 7 8 the gcd of 1 2 3 7 8 comma 3054 is nothing but the gcd of 6 comma 0 which is 6 that is the value of the remainder of time just before or just preceding the remainder zero so this is how one could solve a gcd problem using euclidean algorithm but a more clever application of this euclidean algorithm is the fact that gcd of two numbers say m and n can be written as a linear combination of m and n say m alpha plus n beta Where alpha and beta are integers, this is what I mean by linear combination. So how can one do that? It's very simple. If you move one times eighteen to the LHS, you get six as twenty-four minus. Let me repeat the process. If you consider the number one hundred and sixty-two, it can be expressed as one two three seven eight minus four times of three zero five. Now when you consider one thirty-eight, it is. Three zero five four minus eighteen times one sixty two. One thirty eight is three zero five four minus eighteen times one sixty two. But what is one sixty two? It is one two three seven eight minus four times of three zero five. So this would give us seventy three times of three zero five four minus eighteen times of one two three seven. So this is the way in which one could represent one thirty eight as a linear combination of M and N. So, by similar way, one could now represent twenty-four. Twenty-four is just obtained by shifting one thirty-eight to the LHS. So, it is one sixty-two minus one thirty-eight. It is one sixty-two minus one thirty-eight, and we know the way in which we can represent one sixty-two and one thirty-eight in terms of M and N each. So, when you do that, 
you will get 24 equals 19 times 12378 minus 77 times 305. So now we have found 24 and 18 is actually 138 minus 5 into 24. 138 minus 5 times 20. So this would be 73m minus 18n minus 5 times of 19n minus 77m. So when you simplify this, you would get 458m minus 113n. So this is 18. Now we know that 6 is equal to 24 minus 18. So we just subtract these two. You would get 132n minus 535m. Thus, we found the actual linear combination of the GCD of M and M, which is 6 equal to 132 times of 12378 minus 535 times M which is 3054. So this proves that any GCD of two numbers can be written as a linear combination of those two numbers. And it proves that fact. So Euclidean algorithm has wide range of applications. So I hope you learned this procedure and comment your own perception of Euclidean algorithm. We will meet in the next video. Happy learning. Bye.